Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast. In fact, it's going to be a bit of a long one, so right to the thing. And in fact, it's going to be a two versus two. Yes, indeed, for quite some time we haven't had any good two versus twos, but I looked through the archives once more and I figured, found this, and I figured this was going to be pretty damn excellent. So let's go have a look at our opponents in the northern corner. We are going to see we want to win. Well, that's a pretty obvious statement. We want to win, fighting for the Americans. Opposing, uh, not opposing him, but fighting alongside him shall be Charger 71, composing the 1st American Armored Division. Hurrah and Hussar. A dual barracks start instead from both, so that's a pretty aggressive start. And opposing them shall be Jessalyn and Shrillo. Could be he's a bit shrill, or she's a bit shrill for all I know. Combined they make though the 116th Panzer Division, combined from the 16th Panzer Grenadier Division and the 233rd, I believe, Reserve Panzer Division. Bit of fun combination they thought in Normandy the first time around. We are seeing some pioneers are pretty aggressively hitting all ways and false gunners moving out as well. From Jesulin we'll be seeing false gunners from Shrello. Or shall we be seeing something less false gunner No, we are in fact seeing a pretty Aggressive infantry start from both players, two riflemen, two false grenadiers. This is going to be pretty interesting, although the uh, idea might be that the false grenadiers of Shrillo and Jessalyn try to sort of stick together to provide a bit more early support rather than try to be caught on their own. Or for that matter, they'd be caught on their own against two riflemen teams from both the Americans. But false gunners continuing up the steep climb of the hill. Yes, indeed, from here. It doesn't look very steep, but you know, check here. And all of a sudden, this looks much more difficult to move about in. And some engineers get caught by the false gunners. Pioneers hanging about nearby and they'll have to be careful. Rifle engineers in the center. Rifle also continuing towards the west. And looks like bikes out are rhyming and of course this is an arranged team match. They clearly have some sort of strategy. False gunners and then bikes have run additional firepower right off the bat. Will they be catching Charger 71's rifle right there? Looks like it. Looks like it. Lots of MG5 might be an idea to use move in this false gunner to support the bikes. Wait, there we go. False gunner is from Jessalyn, rifleman out in the open. Getting quite shot at, one man bites at dust. Two men going down on the road. Although some riflemen are doing some nasty things to these pioneers. No, they do not press the advantage. That's a bit tragic instead they now let allow themselves to be derouted by some rifleman from We Wanna Win. But the false gunner of Strillo are still not moving support to support the bike. Which is now on its own in the center. Come on, Shrello. Forwards, forwards, men now. And right here we are seeing further engagement. Rifle sneaking in behind the lines. Oh dear, oh dear. This is already going pretty badly for the Wehrmacht if they're not even able to sort of establish a decent solid front. MGs are now moving in, but there, um, there are enemies behind the lines. And the MGs could get ambushed. And looks like some engineers are charging right at this MG4 just sitting up right but behind a little tree. Probably not a lemon tree. Oh dear, oh dear, some rifle out here, MG moving up. Bike fire, although this bike might soon be going down. False gunners moving in, getting hunted down by other riflemen. MG Schwerers, MG Svan 46 setting up. Viping getting hammered by machine gun fire, almost down to half health. False gunners moving in as well. Riflemen now setting up to flank the MG, and the other bike needs to get out there, at least get repaired. MG turning about, of course, thanks to the false gunners and bike, you can sort of. Get a bit of help with that rifleman. Low on health, but MG stops the other flank. Now the other rifle now moving in. Will the will there be anything to stop them? There's an MG also on the flank. No, the MG is actually retreating. But the rifle are running into further heavy machine gun fire, and the bike is actually there. Oh dear, rifle team could be going down for we wanna win. Will the bike? No, it bike retreats. Oh dear. Unit down. And a Pioneer team goes down as well, oh dear, oh dear, not looking good for the Wehrmacht, not looking good for the 116th Panzer Division Windhund. Right in the beginning looks like Schrillo is getting a sniper. We'll be seeing something else from Jesselin, we'll all be seeing a sniper from him. No, looks like he's actually getting additional false candidates. And Rifen are now proceeding to get sniped. But this has been a pretty early reversal against the Wehrmacht, they were looking sort of alright, but some unfortunate lack of cooperation right then in the beginning rather allow the Americans to find a gap and really push hard. MG though moving up to support these gasoline infantry. 
men, one more infantry moving up from Shrelo, sniper moving up the steep hill. Not necessarily the best place to snipe. Again, lots of sort of steep embankments or some such. False gonna stand, no attempt at playing down. Sam Max to protect them while taking points, rather than getting shot themselves by a bike. American forces of the first armor division so far are holding most of the map. Rather than quickly getting suppressed, and Charger has gone for the BARs. In fact, let's go have a look at Charger. What is Charger up to besides the BARs? Not much looks like these from here are caught though. Have to be careful, have to be careful. Trying to attack the Oh, this is a pretty huge force. Thankfully, there's no artillery at this stage of the game. Lots of false grenades, lots of MGs, even bikes. Only one man from this team makes it out there, and the BAR gets left behind. This could be a really nice little thing for the Wehrmacht to turn against the Americans. Although, again, they need to push, they need to be aggressive, and of course, they need to support their advances. At the same time, we want to win going in for Rasmus, again, forcing the Wehrmacht to spread out. The eastern half not really in the hands of the Wehrmacht at all. Not looking all too well, all too well at all. Engine is getting pushed back. Mines down from Enemy Charger 71. Yeah. Could there be more mines now? So far not. And looks like another unit went down. Might have been something here to mines. Allies have been gaining pretty aggressive with their mines. This is good. This is lovely. This is wonderful. Sniper with four kills. Bear my pushing up here. They need to be quick and they of course they need to support each other. Get all of these things to the front. Sooty front and a bunker up. He's probably going for a medic bunker then, which is not an entirely bad idea. MP40 is for the false kind of Schiller, so he's already got another tier. But of course, he might decide to go for something else rather than the Krieg barracks, I suppose. And looks like supplying it up for we want to win. And now a motor pool, so Charger providing most of the firepower in terms of manpower. Hold the initiative. Infantry firepower, yeah, and then we want to win going in for the sort of vehicle. Fulton is quickly rushing into the barn to avoid the rifle here, but of course moving in towards the side where there's absolutely no windows. And of course there were no prepared positions here, no attempt to perhaps wind this off, which could have helped. No sorry boob. And there's no additional Fulton to support the other ones. Although it looks like some with BARs are moving up, but will it be enough? No, Charger 71 streaming in with more riflemen. And these false grenades are getting absolutely murdered. Although these false grenades might turn things around a bit. Will they? Yes, indeed, riflemen and bikes with dust, but now there's simply too many riflemen, and the false grenades will need to retreat. Rücksugemena. And no MG to cover because that's here. Losing a victory point. We are losing Rather than a victory pushing point. forwards. And we want to win going forwards. These dust denying territory to the Wehrmacht there. Rather than pushing forwards, but getting stopped by MP40 and sniper fireball here in the west. Things are going a lot better as Chargers not really encountering a lot of resistance. Krieg Kampfkraft Center and a Krieg bags up, so he might be going for some Grenadier heavy stuff, although he might also want to consider getting a pack. At the same time, for Schriller, we are seeing the Sturm Armory up. So, of course, there might be armored cars, which would certainly help. Also, might want to consider getting a Stug or two. Or a Nebelwerfer, for that matter. Combined arms is a great thing. Always remember to use combined arms. If possible, of course. Flame Force from We Wanna Win. Flame Force 1. Rawr. And looks like We Wanna Win has gone for Infantry Doctrine. And of course, as a good teammate signaling his teammate, I have gone for this Doctrine. That's how you do it. False Grenade for the 21 and a BAR, right, right. but low on health. Need to get out of there again. Ruxug. Ruxug, you cannot hold. And Shrello needs to get his MG up to the front instead of having it here. I mean, it might have been better to keep that here to where he so can support his men while Jesselin keeps his MG where he can support his own men. Would certainly be a much better asset in that way. Armored car then moving out for We Wanna Win. Panzer fast towards the front but doesn't do much. False guns are quickly pushed off. 50 caliber fire proving to be quite the threat. More mines from Charger 71. Absolutely nice and with an attempt at a bunker right there. Interesting, interesting. Lots of mines from Charger 71. That's absolutely Charger-rific. Can try and do quite a bit. I wonder, do they have any sort of observation post? No. Apparently not. Still, quite a bit of munitions. Certainly going to help him do some damage to those crowds. 
Coltsman is getting pushed off here. Jesselin now getting some MP40s of his own. Medic's pulling in the wounded. Infantry needs to get to the front. And in fact, let's go have a look at Shrillo. What he's up to, he has gone Blitzkrieg. And he's got some Stormtroopers already hitting mines. That's not quite as excellent, I suppose. Stug for the first unit out. No armored cars for him, though. Might recommend that to sort of provide some flank protection. Of course, stop any harassment. A bit swifter. More T Vicar. Again, I cannot respond while watching a replay or casting. Fault guys moving in, charging at the rifle. Be careful again with doing though. B A Yance absolutely no problem sending a moving target. I like the LMG 42 for some reason. Or the Bren. Rifle though are getting pushed away. Might even help that, but more storms are getting called in for Shrillo. 116 is calling upon all the veterans. Pets going to get an armored car on its own. Oh dear, oh dear. Pack also exposed. False guns need to move in. I said false grenadiers. Stormtrooper. Uh, false guns absolutely getting hammered by V1 wins. Five and white that he sent those false guns in on their own. Shrillo, you absolute tosspot. Don't do that. Again, combined arms. Cooperation between infantry units, and now looks like it will be false guns doing it. Sneaking in. Might have been an idea to keep the full screen as a sort of second line unit to sort of follow up the assault of the stormtroopers. Armored car laying down mines. I know that's the American engineers doing more mines, I think. A ray amount though wouldn't be bad. German medics pulling in as many wounded, rifling getting pushed off. Looks like the stormtroopers are getting ready to move up to the east. Anytime soon. Stug moving up, trying to hunt down the armored car, has to be careful, careful. And sniper a lot of trouble. No idea why Shrillo left his sniper on his own. Like that, and a unit has died somewhere. I shouldn't be surprised if it was a pioneer. The sniper actually somehow made it. Volkskrieg is taking heavy losses to the mines, might have been cleared out. I mate basically just flanking about. Could the pack get it? Could the pack get it? Losing ground. Storm squad ready. Again, not the best fighting between the two. Armor car taking heavy damage. And out of control. Grenadiers get a panzer shrek. Stude needs repairs, but there's an anti-tank gun. Why did he pull it through there? And Rafa moving in through the f here, sending to flank the pack. Shrello, Shrello, Shrello. Again, support your armored assets. Do not. And also in these cases, try to avoid fighting on two parts of the map. You know, it will f really divide out your attention. And, uh, and really, it seems quite clear that he can't really do that. Now he's lost a stook. I mean, he's really going to get bled white at this rate. We defend the fatherland until death. Right, we're moving in. Stormtroopers was launching the ambush. Spring it, I suppose. Gunning down those rifle and pretty swiftly executing them practically. And one rifle team absolutely bites the dust as the rifle tears through them. Jolly good job there. And some more rifle could be going down for We Wanna Win. Oh dear, ow, he just lost two rifle teams in quick succession. Others also taking heavy losses, but that was absolutely devastating for We Wanna Win. He does have a medic station up, though that's great as well. And we are now hearing artillery. Right here, causing heavy losses to Jesselin. Oh, Jesselin. You're not doing too well either, are you? Metro TT already up for his infantry. Nothing for support units, though. Rifle getting about to flank this MG. Nothing to really stop that, though. And thus forcing away this force bunker up here, where the stormtroopers continue taking points. Yes, indeed. Oh dear, Attila going in, and a Stormtrooper team gets utterly annihilated, and Shredo barely has anything left. Again, attention, attention, and again, try to sort of focus on one half of the map either way. I mean, don't spread out your forces this thinly, it also forces that spreads out your concentration, and it's, I really can't help but think that's really what's hurting Shredo, that it can't really be everywhere at once. MG bang up to protect this victory point. Not a bad idea, I suppose. But again, unit preservation, unit preservation, unit preservation. Do not throw in stooks like that. And, you know, try not to spread out your attention more than necessary.
Right from now moving in, false cousin Grenadiers fighting against them. German troops though in absolutely no cover, the Americans at least have light cover, so they clearly have the advantage, particularly since they have the BARs, the false Grenadiers do not. Not even a MP40 or LMG42, more mines blow by the looks of it from Charger 71, absolutely astounding all the mines he gets off. Stormtroopers moving in though, could we be seeing a bundle grenade from the Stormtroopers? No! Oh come on! Wait, never mind, he doesn't have the munitions for it. My fault. Stuke moves up, and looks like Charger 71 has been using the time gained by the BARs and of course all the great pressure to now get a Sherman. And there's only really a Stug, as opposed to really put a stop to that. And looks like we want a win has also gone for Howitzers. That's really going to keep up the pressure on Jerry. Which is certainly not going to make things easier for the 116th. Bavin moving up on the eastern flanks. Sherman running into a Stug. Oh dear, Stug not quite having any luck with those shots bouncing off. And Grenade's moving up right into two flame first. Oh dear, that is a quick round again. Not really any coordination. They're sending in troops piecemeal again. Really, really, really try to do your best to avoid sending in troops piecemeal. Always try to sort of have some cooperation between units. I don't say blow up, but you know, sort of use them in cohesion. And preferably be able to try to ensure some sort of combined arms, mortars, MGs, armored vehicles. And again, there really seems to be a sort of lack of cohesion and cooperation between even their own troops. No mind between the troops of both forces. Mines hit against false glancing losses. No mine sweepers by the looks of it for Jessalyn. But there we go, actually. Grenade now from We Wanna Win. Grenadiers do seem to dodge it, forcing away the riflemen. An anti tank gun to protect the howitzer. Not a bad idea in case someone decides to rush it. More artillery fire against the Wehrmacht forces. Observation post on the fuel point. How it's already veteran T1. And by the looks of it, nothing else. No attempt, perhaps, say, going for the fourth tier, perhaps getting a Panther command. They really need something. I mean, Jeslin really needs something to work with his infantry. Because he's simply getting torn up like this, he needs some armor, even a simple Ostwind or a Panzer IV could really, I think, help things for him. Perhaps, you know, also get a half track and get some Stukas of Fuß. Now getting ve infantry veterancy free. Another Stug arrives. No veterancy though for Shrillo and his Stugs. But he could be having that on the way there, I certainly hope so. More Germans from Charger 71. Finding in the center, Volkskan is holding the line as Rifman charge in. And there's a half track nearby, but no one to man the guns of the half track. Use some pioneers for heaven's sake. Two Stukes versus two Shermans. One Sherman could in fact be going down. This could be certainly nice. But since one up for the Sturmgeschutz. Sherman places itself in the way and looks like the other one gets away. Jolly good move there. Grenades against the Riflemen, Charger Simmons forces troops actually suffering a bit against the veterans of free Wehrmacht infantry. Rangers moving up against the other veterans of free false grenadiers. Will they stop? No, they're actually continuing to take the point. They should just try to stop and focus down the Rangers, at least allow others time to get there. You know, priorities, priorities. And not much too late now. Two false grenadiers already bit in the dust. Grenadiers are moving up. Could we see a grenade? No, a grenade actually from the Rangers. Poor handling on that situation by Jeselin. I would certainly say that much. And now running straight into the Thompson Sat machine guns. I mean, come on. Are you even trying? And now Storms was again. And here. And Shrillo does it again. Spreads out his troops over too much territory and rather trying to sort of effectuate a blow here. I mean, there's Sherman up here, but no attempt to really hunt them down and deliver the final blow. I mean, come on. Are you actually trying to lose? Medic Bung released doing something, although it looks like these grenades have been utterly forgotten. More artillery fire and pioneers with minesweepers clearing out. Sherman moving out. What will the Stukes do? Apparently move elsewhere. Center quite nice and open, but again. 
No reconnaissance, no real aggression again, no cohesion. Cohesion, cohesion, cohesion. Quite important. Storms was heading off against quite a few riflemen, though absolutely no anti-tank assets. And the Sherman is on the move. Oh dear. They really do not seem to sort of get the whole combined arms and more specifically force balance. I'm basically meaning a force that can handle both infantry and armor. And they can't really. To a certain extent now the Shooks though are moving. But Rangers are having quite a bit of fun. Anti-tank and ready to put a stop to those two. One hundred and sixteen struggling, although it has secured the two victory points. MG securing this area and another Grenadier team gets reformed. Hooray, hussar, hurrah. And the force guys need to get the bloody hell out of there. And a Sherman tries to cut them off, doesn't quite achieve it. Also note, infantry veterans, if free, actually makes German infantry tough. I believe it's about 20 to 25 percent. Which means that stormtroopers and grenadiers in those cases actually tend to become pretty tough. Besides what they already have in full grenadiers, well, they also become reasonably tougher. Though again, in some cases, I'd rather w argue that you wait for that and preferably perhaps, you know, get some armor. And it looks like we are in fact seeing a Stu 42 out for Shrilo. We are seeing the Sturm Armory on the way for Jeslin. Could this mean perhaps a Panzer Command or even a Sturm Armory? And False is getting torn up by the Rangers. Rangers though taking losses themselves. Sherman moving in. And Sherman moving into quite a bit of Panzer Schreck fire. No pack to provide assistance though. No, provide, no backbone. Rifleman hunting down the Grenadiers and false Grenadiers and they are in the hunt for Shermans. Materially fight against the Stukes. And simply getting torn to bits. No, they actually get no protection yeah, against Sherman. Find those armored bits. So they are taking heavy lo losses to the American tanks who are simply doing terrible, terrible things to them. And also note they have been up guns so they can actually much easily deal with the Sturmgeschutz. Quietly, nicely done there by Charger 71 who also has sticky bombs and proceeds to cover the Stooks in sticky bombs. Oh dear. Stook down. This is looking absolutely terrible. Mine are fine here, arriving getting pushed off. The 116 in this case clearly not having sent in its best men, or at least its best commanders. The men are good, the commanders clearly not quite as good. Still has some learning value, I think. Stug in dire need of repairs, though. And he's sending in his Stu 42 to deal with the Sherman. Come on, Shrello. Let's go and look at We Wanna Win. Floating quite a bit of resources, though. That seems a bit unnecessary. Although he might be going for another supply and upgrade. But again, why not use the resources? Why not get, say, a tank depot or more Rangers or something? Pack firing in support of the Stu 42, trying to get out of there. Stu getting repaired. Stormtroopers holding this area against engineers and other undesirables. But still, no armor for Jessalyn. Again, I'd really recommend him getting a Panzer Command and getting a Panzer 4, or say something like a Panther. But again, sort of strategic and tactical cohesion doesn't really seem to be high on their priority lists. Germans are seizing territory from us. And again, it just seems like Jesselin is content spamming high veterans infantry. And Sherman's moving in to deal with the bunker. And again, nothing to really aid there. Except more stormtroopers, no further storm shoots. Or oh, again, a panzer command. Again, not really, really what I'd recommend as any sort of good thing from those two. Battery ready for fire mission. And Fultz gonna caught a bit on their own though. Again, I'm not entirely sure why he, how he managed that. And again, we want to win. Should be floating resources. So come on, use them. Stooks are ready. Anti-tank gun moving in for Jesselin. It doesn't really seem to be getting much usage out of them though. And again, infantry here, but quickly getting pushed off because there's again no support for them. No pack train provides starvage to that Sherman moving in, which he pre pretty much should have predicted. 
Come on. And now getting dual pants to fix Stormtrooper Australia seems to be rather tactically gimmicky, basically just relying on Stormtroopers with anti-tank assets, of course, which works great just for the first volley, but after that, they might quickly get decimated. One would say this is certainly a litany of faults in some regards. I mean, at least they're getting veterans for the troops. I mean, they've got some things right, but... I mean, for two people who sort of play, you know, two versus two arranged teams, they're not really playing much as a team at all. And they're really committing some, I'd say, grand tactical mistakes. Storms with the charging end, doing quite a bit of damage to these ranges, of course, Storms... Assault Worms actually ignoring elite armor in terms of damage, making I mean they actually do full damage. Moving in and a purging out for charger 71. Oh dear. This is going to be a huge problem for the Wehrmacht for the 116th. They had pretty much not predicted a purging. I certainly had neither. And of course field repairs right away. Pack is founding, but will it be enough? I don't think so. Where are the armored vehicles? They are nowhere to be seen. Stu is heavily damaged, getting flanked by a Sherman and Rifleman. Assault gun tactics does not seem to be their forte. Looks like the an M10 might be going down. Stormtroopers moving in. Sherman could be going down. Heavy armored losses for Charger 71. Will this happen? No packets. There we go. Sherman down. Oh, being down. Only the Pershing also looks like one rifle team has gone down. If the Wehrmacht pushes here, they might actually be able to sort of cripple the Allies at least a bit. And looks right here, of course, the center is quite exposed. There's not much to stop them. Two medic stations. Good job there. We want to win. But move it, move it, move it. The center is open. Will they get it? Will they get it? And there we go, anti-tank on down, Grenier suffering some losses, will they go after the houses? They know they are there. No, looks like they'll be trying to deal with the Pershing. Grenadiers are retreating there behind the Stormtroopers. So how long will the Stormtroopers last in particular now as they're getting suppressed by the 50 caliber? And of course, note, Veteran G2, that is elite armor for Stormtroopers and Grenadiers, makes them easier to suppress. So of course, they're now standing out negative car, which makes them also easier to hit. And they're getting absolutely pasted. Not good at all. This is not necessarily the best engagement right here for the 116th for Shrillo. But at least they're making some progress now. Looks like they've finally broken out. In fact, now it looks like finally the Axis are the ones with the majority of the map. But for how long will that last? And they certainly do not hold the majority of the victory points. Still, Koenigsegger has joined in. Still no further heavy armor. No Panzer Command. Come on. I mean, why did you even bother going for the next tiers if you're not using them, Jessalyn. I mean, if you're just going to be sitting there spamming grenades and going for a King Tiger, don't bother with the higher tiers, and particularly we're not even using Enemies the LMGs either. Victory. Come on. Show some common sense. And Veteran C3 for this Sherman, making it very, very nasty Sherman. Lots of stormtroopers, it looks like the majority are now the ones with Panzer checks, but of course will they be able to sort of repay themselves? Bankrupt number two for Jesslin, King Tiger moving in. Light infantry support, I think. Artillery moving in against the victory point again. And a forced retreat, nice job right there by Sh No, that's Jesslin, of course, since Shiloh has gone for Blitzkrieg. Rather than getting hunted down, victory point gains you pure once more for the final and that's actually there still. Will Enemy they push on much? Will they try to do some damage? Will they try to sneak in here and clear out those howitzers? I mean, if the Axis can really just make one drive for the howitzers, knock them out, they can really, really take knock out quite a bit of the wind off the Allied war effort. I mean, the loss of those two howitzers, if they don't lose too much themselves, would really do a lot of damage. King Tiger then now quite in the middle of everything and quickly getting outflanked. The infantry support is getting cleared out. And again, too many panzer checks, I think. Not enough to really deal with the infantry. Grenades getting locked at the Rangers. Grenades don't need to get out. Simply too much so machine gun fire. King Tiger with a damaged engine already. This is quickly looking grim. Still no gunners for the half track. Jesus Christ. 
Sherman's quickly sorting in again. No, there's nothing to stop them. Stormtroopers once more making a move towards the center. And again, simply getting stopped. Looks like they hit a mine in this case. And are quickly making themselves easy targets. Doing what they can with bundled grenades, but they're getting lit a fire. And the Pershing doing too much damage. We have a threat to our victory. I mean, it might have been better idea if they actually sort of just tried to cloak up, but at least try and get those howitzers. Get the howitzers. Sherman's moving in though from the flank, nothing to stop them, looks like there are no further strokes from the 116th. And the stormtroopers get pushed away, looks like they even lost one stormtrooper team. No, the, that ran actually. So never mind, looks like the west though is in the hands, King Tiger needs to get repaired quickly. And they need to get some support assets up quickly. Schnell, schnell, Kartoffelkopf. Let's go return to Shrilo. Getting a tiger at this very moment. Good to see that. We are losing ground. Grenadiers faced with the Pershing. And they have lost the East. And Sherman's oh dear Charger 71 is on a roll. Basically just looping around the Wehrmacht defenses to hit them in the rear. There is a tiger on the way, but will it be enough? And the king tiger, don't, oh dear, he's exposing himself like that. And the Pershing is still roaming here. Infantry units shattered by artillery, this is madness. And the bunker is down, Medic bunker got caught by the Shermans. And is no more. Stormtroopers again trying that here in the east with some kills to the name. Half tech getting repaired again by Jessling. King Tiger being forged fully repaired. Pershing is there, but of course a rather sizable contingent of everything is also here to really make things difficult for the Axis. Penny is moving in. King Tiger Pershing. And Tiger running into something. I'm not entirely sure what. This. Out of fire against the King Tiger. Attention. Sherman's moving in into a trap, perhaps, if they actually do continue. Storms moving in, fully equipped with Panzer Tricks, mostly though. So I'm not having fully that. And there we go. Huge volley. Not all hit. But there we go. Sherman could be going down. Yes, indeed, they do get a Sherman. Further heavy fighting here, King Tiger getting surrounded, Rangers, Pershing, M10, and that's not enough to support it. Grenadiers are trying to move in with lots of Panzer X. Will they get the Pershing? Will they get it? Will they get it? Damage engine. But there are field repairs. Field repairs. Focus down the M10, mates with your Panzer Shrek, and there we go, but King Tiger is heavily damaged. And it needs to get repaired, get it back to base. Get it far, far away from the Americans. And Charger 71 just gets another person here. Probably expected this situation to go bad quickly. Pioneer's repairing the King Tiger. Repair bunker here, I think. And the Tiger's on its own over here in the east. Charger 71 has actually been quite brutalized at this stage. He's lost most of his armor. There is now getting a King Tiger. Looks like we want to win. We'll have to do most of the fighting. If the axe is actually pushed now, they might be able to keep it up. And of course, knock out the Howitzers. The Howitzers are really doing a lot to aid the Allied War effort. And of course, making sure they can't use... Oh dear, why did he stop it so close to the front? Why did he not pull it back towards the repair bunker? Come on, Jessalyn. Common sense. You have a repair bunker? Bloody well use it. And again, get something heavier than just infantry. Again, remember, combined arms. Something that can aid the King Tiger as well. And looks like an off-map comet group moving in. Armored cars, tank destroyers, and another Pershing. And of course, now the King Tiger is much too late moving towards the repair bunker. That should have been done earlier. Much, much earlier. For heaven's sake. Right from them. Absolutely gutted by the MD-42, but the M8 is there to sort of flank it. 
Pioneer's doing what they can to repair. M10 moving in though. And artillery getting called in. King Tiger needs to keep moving. Stormtroopers arriving. M8 out of control. And the King Tiger goes down. Pershing veterans need two allied war machine up. Oh dear, this could be another Pershing down. That would actually be quite a lot of Pershing going down in one game, but... No, they're not fine. Just stop moving. Stop it. And there we go. Pershing down. They could also be getting that M10. Though heavy losses. Jessalyn has lost his armor support. His own integral armor support, at least. There we go. M10 down. And just getting another Pershing, in this case, from Allied War Machine. Holding out in the east, though. Tiger there. Stormtroops all supporting it. Looks like the Axes are finally biting back, but they need to get some armor, for heaven's sake, Jessalyn. Get some bleeding armor, in particular since you're floating resources. Get a Panzer Command. Get some Panzer Force or the Panther out now, you dilt. Das ist ein Befehl. Anyways, Tiger facing off against the Pershing. Bundle grenades against the Pershing? That's not going to do a lot of damage. I mean, really, come on, use your head. Don't waste munitions. If necessary, just rush in those stormtroopers. Looks like there might be veterans who free on the way. Bob moving in against the Canadiers and nothing from Jessalyn. Jessalyn apparently can't be asked to protect that victory point despite having less than a hundred. And getting stopped by a simple heavy machine gun from We Wanna Win. Surprise, surprise. Tiger out of trouble, although Veterans Free does help a bit. And the M10 could be going down. Artillery against the Stormtroopers. Will the Stormtroopers get out? Yes, just in time. Main gun out on the M10. Pershing moving in, heavily damaged. Charges M1 still in a bad position. And heavy machine gun out. The center is clear, but again, floating too many goddamn resources. And if he's just spamming grenadiers, I'll strangle him. In fact, it looks like it. Come on. I mean, you have veterans free. Why not go for a Panzer Command at least? Get some Knights Cross. Oh, for heaven's sake. And he's not even continuing against the Howards as he's. Ow. Damn it. And he lost the Tiger, I think. And he didn't get the Pershing. This is just tragic. Now things are again loot going wrong for the Axis. They had made a nice move, but sadly, they are now floundering over there under their own incompetence. And it's a late against the victory point right here. Get the false kindness away. Bixugamina. Trying to secure as many victory points as possible. Or at least render them neutral. MG cleared out again. Kind of just need to get out there. Mortar fire from We Wanna Win, I believe. Yes, indeed. And more grenadiers from Jessalyn. Come on, combined arms. Ever heard of it? Don't just spam veterans to free grenadiers. As you might have noticed, it's not really working well for you. Get a Panzer Command, get some Panzers out before I have you hanged or something like that. I've been forced to run the gauntlet now, but I think they will be mostly making out of their life. In particular now since the Grenadiers are moving again, remember, units are less accurate when moving. They're more accurate when actually standing still. Very important little detail. MG42 left behind, not secured. How it's just still standing. In particular, one with urgency free, and now a Calliope joining in this rather ad hoc artillery battery by now. Two victory points once more in the hands of the Wehrmacht. But for how long? For how long? They're rather suffering excessive losses to do something rather simple. A tiger arrives. Will they be using it to push towards the center? Perhaps even pulling off a nice flank from here? 
I mean, they could lead away through here and then attack through here where the anti tank guns are not prepared. Knock out the howitzers and perhaps, you know, do some terrible damage. But will they? Or will they just do something completely silly again? Let us return to we want to win. With off map combat groups galore. More tank destroyers. Tiger moves forward. Stormt was once more on the run. We have territory cut off from Time supply. We want to win having quite the huge force. Right from getting reformed for We Want to Win, the two medic stations certainly have been out quite there. And looks like the western flank right here is pretty much collapsing. Not enough to stop. Oh, that is coming through there. Simply not enough. Poor management of resources, I'd say. Eastern flank, all right, but he's just leaving the tiger there with no support. No, go. Bound the grenade against these rifle versus assault rifle equipped stormtroopers. Will the rifle make it out there alive, or will charge 71 be suffering further losses? Looks like it. Mortar firing. Center again. Oh wait, never mind. Pershing on the move. Veterans have won even. And can I be barrage? Hazard. Still no tank depot there. Victory point under siege. The Germans are moving in. And once more, just a devastating charge up through the center, getting hammered by artillery, not even attempting to spread out a bit. Stormtrooper team gets annihilated by artillery fire. Surprise, surprise, another! Oh, come on! Shrillo, what the bloody hell are you doing? M10s are going down and looks like the center might finally get knocked out. The artillery right there, but they have managed to knock out quite a bit. 37 kills plus 2 armored and 8 and armor, 1 armor kill for their bun grenades. Knocking out an entire rifleman team. Oh goodness gracious. But will they get the howitzers? Will they get what really needs to be destroyed? M medic station down. There we go. Howitzer finding any hit. No, they're going away from them. Knock out the howitzers, please! The howitzers, the things killing you from afar away. And another rifle team gets reformed from We Want to Win. Come on, stormtroopers, priorities! And a tiger on its own, clearing out several riflemen. Looks like the howitzer from We Want to Win might finally go down. Come on, there we go. Now get the second one, get the veteran C3 one. Come on. No, a Kalipa Barrage moves in much too swiftly because Rello decided he had better things to do like sightseeing. Come on, ya idiot. Certainly quite a lot of action going on here. Rangers a bit on their own against some Grenadiers. Looks like the Rangers are quickly and swiftly pushed off the field. But Americans quite aggressive, been able to pull off some quite nice flanks. The Axis so far have not really been able to pull off much of anything that I could even consider clever. False retreat. Another push for in the center by the Americans this time around. The Tiger has just been left, not moving in. I mean, if it happens to pull this central assault, he might be able to really have done some damage. But again, Shrelo just doesn't get any coordination or cohesion off. And certainly seems to be not very good in disposing well of his troops. And simply too many Panzerics, not enough to really deal with the infantry. From Jessalyn. And I have no idea why he continues and not getting someone in the 
to man the guns of that half dragon and just upgrades it. It's absolutely insane. Finally moving the tiger. Finally. A barely cohesive force moving up the center once we're getting struck by heavy machine guns. All the looks like some grenades are flanking. The enemy is after our victory point. And nothing with actual anti-tank assets trying to stop that person here in the west. Force retreat since the infantry is going away. And packs could have been secured by the axes, but that does not seem to be happening. And the howitzer could be cleared up. Finally, that last howitzer. 37 kills. Veterans are free. Will it happen? Will it happen? Let's go look at charges 71. We have 300 points left. Tiger is back on its spot, getting hammered by an anti tank gun. Laughing a bit on their own against all these stormtroopers. How to secure it, but the allies are quick to counter-attack. And quickly gets decrewed, and I'm sure they'll be quick to retake it in the meanwhile. Lots of Calliope fire against the Stormtroopers, but they actually managed to dodge it. Final medic station for we want to win gets cleared out. Back, grenades, and on the way for Charger 71. Looks like you can't get anything more. More barrage fire. And the anti tank gun gets sorted out. Looks like Charge 71 has been able to recuperate after all those heavy losses he suffered earlier. Rangers causing absolute havoc. Veterans 2, 20 kills. Nothing really seems to be stopping them. Again. Just lots of panzer takes nothing to really help dealing with infantry. And the tank once more a bit on its own. Rifleman moving in. Veterans free rifleman with a panzer trick. Oh dear, he lost one. And a damaged engine, some very, very wounded stormtroopers holding out nearby. Elite Panzer gun is from the eastern front. And more Calliope fire, this is absolutely artillery-tastic. Another assault by the Grenadiers through the center. Again, an absolute dreadful lack of combined arms from the Axis. I mean, they're really doing terribly in the combined arms aspect. And the result is they're actually suffering Absurd losses doing something they probably could have done a lot easier if they just bothered with some simple combined arms. Tiger though holding out nicely, 20 kills. Stormtrooper left behind on his own. Enemy unit down. Another sticky bomb on the Tiger. Immobilized now. Pershing on its own in the west. Pack firing away but doing. Well, pretty much nothing to it. There we go, rear armor hits. Right from again to sort out the anti tank gun. Again, the front line has actually collapsed. The 116th Panzer Division is Enemy pretty much down. buggered. And firing right here, the storms are trying to get out. Two Panzer tricks left behind. Tisk, tisk. MG Banker stalwartly trying to protect that final victory point. But there's a Pershing that's nothing really there to help. And there we go, Bunker down. Pani as many an MG machine gun there getting shattered by the Pershing, which is Veteran 3, by the way. Half tank finally manned. Getting a bit of machine gun fire, but no, he decides otherwise. And this tiger is gone as well. Oh dear. This is just not good at all. Devastating Calliope Barrage against the remainders of Jeselin's troops. 
Wild Trailer's company is not really doing much better either. Half tank out of control, force retreat, but the victory point is no longer theirs. Hendrix trying to go in for the Pershing. Will they succeed? Front shifting. Crowds are grabbing territory. And the pack actually finds support of the Grenadiers. But I doubt it will be enough as the pack is getting quickly flanked. Four points left for the Wehrmacht. And no, just before that final point runs out, the Wehrmacht manages to stabilize things quite drastically. Kind of is sacrificing themselves in the most heroic manner. For a less than heavy rank commander, to put it mildly. And some other grenadiers getting absolutely shattered by machine gun fire. Oh, the inhumanity being conducted here by the two Axis commanders. And our final Tiger rushes in. Points being secured by the Allies. And. There we go. Schrillo and Jesselin have disgraced the Fatherland and 116th Panzer Division. And of course, what on earth can we learn from this? Well, I mean, the problem with the Axis basically were they were sort of too quick to spread out the lines too thinly. I mean, they were quickly, constantly getting outmaneuvered for a long part of the game. And in particular, Schrillo made the mistake of sort of having forces here and there, which rather spread out his attention too much, which again caused him further heavy losses. And they definitely could have used a few more medic bunkers. I mean, they had one here, but none here to cover this area. On the other hand, I mean, the Allies had two here in a more central position and were able to really get a lot of wounded. Picked up two Howards, which which actually got were much too long in being dealt with. I mean, the Axis didn't really do much. And half the time they'd sort of stop and then deal with some sort of thing that could easily have been ignored instead of dealing with the Howitzers. Terrible and no attempt at really flanking from the Axis when, for example, they had this area. No attempt for moving here to there. Terrible. Terrible, to put it mildly. But of course, also lack of combined arms. Just lots of infantry spam from Jesselin, which is about a notice, just basically got him ground down. And he's actually got a tank depot, he panzer command here, but nothing from Jesselin again. He should have gotten that. And perhaps, you know, it might have been an idea if Schriller had gotten a needle there for perhaps even an armored car. But again, ah, they just never really got off the ground and it just basically sort of resorted to gimmicky tactics which really didn't get them long half the time. So there you go, do hope you enjoyed this game, if you did why not subscribe or tell your friends and if you didn't, well why not send a replay of your own, this is Imperial Lane saying cheers.